All right, y'all. It's that time. Here it is. Patch notes. Halloween Merlin. Who caught? Hey, who 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 could have seen this coming? Who who? Uh, go ahead and smash the like with the but uh, like smash the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that good stuff. Let's get into it. We already know her ultimate is gonna lower HP, but let's take a look at her skills. Um, real quick. All right, the banner has Halloween Shen, Roxy, Matrona, Halloween Easton, Slater. I need dudes for him. Uh, Halloween Yan, basically all the Halloween units. Um, this is okay, which it was better than like most banners this year, but like it's still bad. But uh. Let's go ahead and take a look, see at um her information and see if she's absolute poop or not. So for ah, oh, that's good already. Hold on. I read the first thing. Well, okay, it wasn't good. For each ally of unknown race participating in battle, the base stats of the ally of unknown race is increased. That's crazy. She's great. She's good already. She's pretty good already. Um, increased by five percent, and your own penetration rate increases by twenty percent. Also. At the start of an ally's turn, if all allies participating in battle are of unknown race, your skill will rank up only once and give you an 80% increase to penetration rate for two turns. She's pretty good. She's pretty good. I can, I can see Sora already saying like, she's shit, she's shit, she's bad, Davo. But nah, I'm looking at her. That, that passive alone looks pretty good. And she's red. And it's everywhere. You could use her in a bag. High key. That's pretty nice. Wait, does that mean back? I think that means back, right? I think this one means she has to be on field and all means everywhere. My bad. She has to be on field and then she has to be everywhere. Her prank. What title is that? Trick or treat single target. Well, I'm guessing a single target. Yeah, it is single target. Penetration. Oh, that's crazy. And she gets 100% pierce. That's kind of dumb. Sadly, it's a blue buff. Like, she gets buffed like so they make Aaron actually useful and then you could actually use Levi. You know, when they came out with the AOT units, they were like, yo, everybody, they, they, they suck. But now they're bringing out these buff units. They can look pretty good, you know? So her second skill deals damage equal to 270% of attack on all enemies and allows only single skills to be used. So, so like, uh, she seals level two skills and up, like, uh, red glocks think that. Or even like Goth or Debuff. Uh, hijack Goth or Debuff card, but like, you know, but it does damage instead. Um, and then her ultimate just lowers HP. And she looks pretty good. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap to y'all. Uh, let's take a look at her like little animations and stuff like that. Hopefully it doesn't ear, ear bless y'all. That's pretty nice. I like I like the way that look. I I, I really do. Uh, the mum the mummification outfit looks pretty nice. And we have a new card set here. the The recent card set we got was pretty pretty nice. I I doubt this one will even top it, bro. Hold on, let's see. So for each specific ally on the battlefield during night battles, it's already shit. Uh, subjugation battles. The basic stats of all allies will increase by three percent. Specific ally, demon tribe, or unknown. That's pretty good. Okay, well, at least it's like in including two two types and not just like one. If it was one, I would have been like, yeah, it's just absolute poop, but it has like some value. Um, tickets, of course, I will not be 6 6 in her. I'll probably just get one copy because she not like. I'm gonna just do the showcase and call it that. Oh, they give out a free multi, so you can get her and you get uh, Halloween for free. Halloween DN. I say you get Halloween for free. Halloween DN for free. That's pretty nice. And um, they give a freaking uh, demonic beast match. They give the dog, deer, and bird. Okay, okay. But no, no dog hit. See. And then this uh, Halloween event, they always bring up. It's always the same stuff. It's over and over and over every season. You know, hog treasure hunt. Yep, do do. Whole bunch of free to play goodies. And we got OG Demon Halloween theme. Uh. This is like an easier version of the fight. You get the Fez, not Fesco, the Halloween Gother outfits, which is nice. Um, you get the card pack here. You get a UR pin, and that's pretty nice. And then uh, furniture stuff. The furniture stuff is never really good unless you just like the, the look of it. The, the stuff that it provides, like the buffs, it's really like minute. Like it, it's minuscule, bro. It's like you hardly ever feel the effects. So um, 
Ragnarok Festival Big Reward Dungeon Part 2. Okay, so with Four Soulgrace, you get uh, books and this. And you still get these the uh, Demonic Beast drops. That's still pretty nice. Uh, training support. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Additional Fighting Festival Point Acquisition. So you get, what, two times points or some shit? Oh, 1.5. Okay. Uh, five Festival Victory Achievement. So you get 15 wins per week. You get, uh, essentially, you can not you can't level 90 but you'll get like something that greatly like helps you level 100 I, I said 90 helps you uh level up a character to 100 which is penance penance is probably like the hardest thing to get your hands on so this is pretty 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 good um ragnarok festival victory box eh. and then we got outfits for she gets her fifth weapon already she has four you get a halloween outfit for tear and demon king demon king has like a million a thousand like he has like so many outfits like <laughs> but Nonetheless, I will be picking them up. So I was thinking like, yo, this update, I might, this might be like the first update all year where I just go and I don't spend any money. But psych, they were like, Davo, we got you. You're going to have to spend money. So if anything, I won't have to buy like a pack. I have like 500 gems right now. If anything, I could just get these outfits and then I'll have enough to get to 600 if I get just absolutely slaughtered on um Halloween Merlin's banner. So these outfits rerun. So if you don't get them, you better get them. These outfits are like goaded for the Demon Brothers. So, and then we got Hijack Gold. Oh, you know what? This market outfit I'm actually missing. So I might pick that up. It is 30 gems though. So I might get it like once PVP resets hit. Um, and then new combat event. Oh, they got to buff this, bro. I promise you, if they buff this, nobody would be mad at them. I don't know why it's still the same format from like day one. You, you complete all the missions, you get two gems. I haven't done this in like two, two, three years. I, I'm not even kidding y'all. Like. If they update this every week, what's two times? <laughs> no, no, no. Like three years, right? Quick maps. I'm sorry. Like a little, little interruption, right? So three years, right? Three times 52. How many gems have I missed out on? And then times two gems. I missed out on 300 gems. <laughs> Not doing these, <laughs> these wonky ass combat uh events bro but it is what it is improved some pop-up menus w added a dish favorite function yes i love cc and i love um hp and gold food i love that and dots with food uh some convenience improvements for on character screen improved the ui so that you can check detailed character status at a glance you won't have to scroll anymore that's pretty nice okay i like the you know grand cross quality of life is like it's it they fix things you don't even like think that are a problem this is weird improved convenience of equipments uh this assembly function okay improve the matching function for super brawl okay improved convenience of pvp fighting festival okay yo w you don't have to just click on a character and like you know how you hold it like on let's say you're clicking tier the little dragon symbol will pop up and then you go to the gear you just go to gear that's pretty good it's how you do it i think uh you can do this in like the friendly pvp you can sort of do it on the menu of like well in demon lobbies right you can just go in and press the gear button and change the gear uh improve the content shop entry okay um lost fame will be activated even when critical hit was caused by an attack okay that's that's it yo heroes arena and inform information on season three special and seasonal characters change i'm guessing yeah this will add uh truth seeker merlin uh to the to the list of characters who are strong for heroes arena so i will get her and she looks pretty good on paper she looks pretty good i i am surprised um to actually see that they actually went not all out but like they made her good because i i know like red goddess liz matrona even like who else is like sorry this year i guess red mcgilda you can put her in that classification uh blue model kind of but that's like oc stuff let's let's take a look at like send stuff uh that liz matrona and elaine and this merlin i would say out of all those four who are like not ocs or ragnarok she probably is the best one well she is 100 uh, percent is the best one that released this year so uh that's it thank y'all for watching if y'all enjoyed the video smash the like button subscribe turn on notifications all that good stuff and i'll see you guys in the next one